My name is Matthew Diamond. I'm directing the screen version of the Oedipus Rex. This is a piece that is being created over two months, being shot in very separate pieces, and then being edited together to make a single cohesive opera movie. We originally shot the orchestra. They were COVID separated on stage. It's customary to say necessity is the mother of invention. We've had to invent. I can say with relative surety that when I stepped up on the podium to conduct the first rehearsal and the recording sessions with the orchestra, I have never stood before an orchestra that was as far away from me as on that occasion. And that's so that there's sufficient distance between every instrument as is defined by the COVID restrictions. I saw a very happy orchestra on our first day and on our last day. The LA Opera Orchestra, which is a world-class orchestra, was so happy to be reunited with itself. The musicians amongst themselves, they were so happy to be playing again and playing together as an entity. Then I think a week later, we spent two days shooting the chorus. Only 16 people instead of 80 people separated from each other by 16 feet this time for two days. Then now we're shooting the principals for two days and they're gonna add in their voices. The whole virtual setup is, is quite new. We're all learning as we go, and for an opera singer, we, we just have never really been trained with microphones and things in our ears, and so it's definitely a learning curve, but it's interesting. Yeah, we're putting the, the recording part of this together in essentially a studio style of execution but we're in the theater setting. We've got our hearing pieces in. We use a little bit of click track here and there because we're trying to work with a pre-recorded orchestra part. So we've managed to kind of rally all those forces together and, and make it work. And at the same time, keep it feeling like a live performance. There is more of a television aspect, movie aspect of it that I'm not used to in an opera house, especially this one, because this is not our normal diet in the course of what we do. It's almost like my show is there, but you know we're listening to the click tracks in our ear and staying with it, as he is too. So we're helping him. It's really a real collaborative effort to make sure that everything is put together nicely and accurately and represents the quality that we want to represent here, so. Oh, it's great to have an acoustic, you know, to... <laughs> it sounds amazing to sing anywhere that's not my living room. <laughs> But it, especially here is fantastic. You know, it feels like all the pieces have been put together separately, and now we're putting them together very quickly. And I'm very excited to hear it. To be back collaborating with musicians in person and, and sharing in the energy of an audience is an amazing feeling. I can't wait to be back on stage again. It's great to be back in L.A. with some colleagues, old and new, uh, Janae Bridges, who I've had the opportunity to only sing a concert with. Uh, and we've never sung together, really, until these performances. Seeing Morris Robinson and John Relier, who I've worked with for over 15, 20 years, is also amazing. Meanwhile, in Chicago, an amazing company called Manual Cinema is creating shadow puppets and then putting them on screen to create sort of vignettes of kind of the most action-packed parts of the story. Uh, we at Manual Cinema uh, practice a form of puppetry that we call cinematic shadow puppetry. And basically what it means is that we take traditional forms of shadow puppetry and silhouette and reimagine them in a way that feels contemporary and cinematic. Our job as the visual puppeteers is to support the opera and in a way to help you understand the story of the opera better. It's such a fun piece and the music is beautiful. So I'm also really excited to just see the performers because we've been listening to these recordings <laughs> for so long. I would say it feels like a new found energy and love that I'm experiencing with myself and, and with everybody, you know? We really have missed this, and I couldn't imagine a better way to, to come back to the stage here. I really hope that this energy lasts forever, <laughs> honestly.